And our next speaker joins us from the Liberal Democrats, uh, where she is both spokesperson for education and indeed the deputy, deputy leader of the party. Um, she has regularly spoken out in support of those who are most affected by Brexit. And we're really delighted that she can join us today. Please join me in welcoming Daisy Cooper the Liberal Democrat Emily for St Albans. Sorry, sorry, Daisy, I missed that bit off. It's quite okay. Thanks ever so much. Thank you for inviting me today. Um, and it is really good to join you all, albeit virtually. Um, let me start with some of the obvious things that I'm sure you've heard today. But we all know that the UK-EU trade deal is threadbare and miserable. We all know that it's bad for jobs, bad for business, and bad for our standing on the world stage. We all know that it's not going very well, that the UK is burning bridges with our EU partners, waging a war of words at a time when we should be working with our closest neighbours. We all know that exports are down and that red tape is up. And for us, for those of us who wanted the UK to stay in the EU, we think that rejoining seems obvious. But we must be under absolutely no illusion as to the scale of the challenge in persuading the rest of the country to join us. Boris Johnson has given us a bad Brexit deal, yet he's up in the polls. He has given us untold misery during COVID and left this country with one of the worst death rates in the world. And yet he's up in the polls. Johnson is stalling on climate action, despite us seeing storms and droughts and floods all around the world, risking all of our futures. And yet, he is up in the polls. In fact, today the Conservative Party has announced a huge increase in party membership. And they put that down to the Prime Minister's personal popularity. Make no mistake, this is not going to be easy. In fact, this government, this Tory government, is going to make it, make it even harder for us to fight back. The Tory government are going to do a boundary review that will give them more seats. The Tories are going to raise the spending threshold for elections, which will give them more cash. And the Tories will call the next election whenever they want, giving them the upper hand. And there's more. The Tories will stoke culture wars, as they are doing already. They will use government funds to prop up target seats. They have already installed a party donor as the chairman of the BBC and a former Tory councillor as its CEO. They were happy to mislead the public during the last general election by pretending its Twitter account was a fact-checking service. And the Tories continue to demonise anybody that questions or criticises them, branding newspapers as campaigning newspapers and judges who are applying the law as lefty. If you want to see a change in EU policy in this country, if you want to see our European movement flourish, then it starts with getting rid of this government. And we have three years to do that. So here's what I want you to do. Join a party, tell your friends, and go out and get folk to vote. We may have lost the battle to stay in the EU, but as a result of that battle, here in the UK, we now have one of the largest pro-European movements in Europe. It hasn't gone away, and today is clearly evidence of that. But our movement is a sleeping giant. And now is the time to wake it up. It took the Leave campaign 40 years to take us out of the EU. I do not want it to take us 40 years to rejoin. But that timeline is down to us. And remember, Brexit was never the end goal. It was only ever the very first step in a much bigger project, a project to make us a more inward looking nationalistic country. This government talks about freedoms, but when the chips are down, all its instincts are authoritarian. 
All of our pillars of liberal democracy are under attack. This Tory government is happy to break international law, to crack down on the right to peaceful protest, to chip away at judicial reviews, one of the single most important tools that ordinary folk have to enforce their rights against an overbearing state. And guess what? Most people haven't even noticed. And that's where the European movement has a hugely important role. The longer that this government is in power, the further this project will go on and the harder it will be for us to row back. So we need you all, every single one of you, to get active politically now. Like many other speakers, I implore you, please don't say I told you so. Please don't suggest that anybody deserves the outcome of this Brexit deal. These remarks are cheap and they are divisive. If we genuinely want to join the EU afresh, we have to take the country with us. And we should all want the UK to rejoin the EU from a position of strength. I find absolutely no joy in seeing this government put our country on its knees. I see, find absolutely no joy in seeing livelihoods being destroyed. I want our country to thrive. Our movement should want our country to thrive. And we should want our country to rejoin the EU because of the positive benefits that it will give us. As a Liberal Democrat, I am really proud of my party's leading role in the People's Vote campaign. Just over a week ago at our spring conference, we resolved to start drawing up a roadmap to rejoin EU agents, agencies such as the Customs Union and the Single Market with a view to membership of the European Union in future. As a Liberal Democrat, I am pro-European and pro-internationalist to the core. As a party, we believe that the UK's future is in the EU once again. We are also committed as ever to working with people of other political parties and people of no party at all to chart that path forward. Only political parties can defeat this government and beat them in the ballot box. But only the members of the European movement, like you, can show that this issue goes beyond party politics. We have absolutely no time to lose. We have just three years to win the argument and to win in the ballot box. So if you do anything today to help our collective cause, please join a party, tell your friends, go out and get folk to vote. We need three years of constant campaigning to defeat this government and then to ensure that our European movement can, off the back of it, flourish. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daisy, and her clear message there. Get out, get active, get political, um, and, and let's take this fight forward.